sunny day. I figured I'd come out and do a quick, uh, quickie video of my setup out here. I'm so sick of sharing shots that are taken from the IP cameras. So this is my girl. You can see my rubber dirty but it is winter time my uh, cloud watcher over there tells me all the clouds it's where the magic happens <laughs> I got uh, let's turn on the lights here a minute I don't have a lot of light in here because um, I don't work out here so I have a little bit around the floor and it looks like some of those are even out right now unless I can hit them. There, there they go. I don't care much for those tape things. They haven't worked well for me. Um, these are my, that's my mesh router that meshes with the one in the house which is quite far, about a hundred yards. Uh, my two power supplies, one's for the mount, the other is for everything else. This is my uh, switch. There's eight, eight uh, outlets on there and I can switch things on and off from in the house or out here. This is my switch for humidity. It turns the fan on at over 67. Right now it's 54 out here. So I like that I got that. It saves uh, from running the fan 24-7. It's off probably most of the time, but... If it rains or there's a quick temperature shift from cold to warm, it'll kick in. And what that does is it runs that fan, which aims up at the mount and the scope, and moves air enough to where I don't get any moisture in here. Um, if I am out here doing work, I can pull my monitor out. I got a little seat. I can also bring the monitor this way because I'm often adjusting um, something like my my drive train my camera train here and um, making uh, tilt and spacing adjustments I don't know hopefully you can see that in there I don't have much light in here um, we could let some light in That'd probably be a good idea Thing starting to come out. Is that supposed to be sticking out like that? Never noticed that before. Also, I get drift as long as I just saw that. See, watch when I turn it on. See how it falls? Is it supposed to do that? I might have something messed up, but I don't, I don't know why that's coming out the side. I got bad trees all right so then I push this back because I usually don't use it that lets my IP camera which is right here um, see everything and I can spin turn and I can look over at the power make sure the power things are off a uh, little desk here if I'm out mainly just for doing tuning backspacing and tilt I can sit and see it there and um, so that's one bay and it, it really works nice that little desk I had that around the house I was gonna throw it in the trash I did have to trim the corners a little bit because it was a little too fat but I got it to fit in there and it works perfect this is um, just a tool cabinet and I left the wheels off I searched for one that would be this low because I wanted to put all this stuff up on top and if I put the wheels on it, then it would sit too high. So I like that. Um, my Rasa. And I had to put the cheap little uh, focuser on there, which works better than the Feather Touch. I have another IP camera on there so I can see out the slit. Um, was more important when I was having slaving problems, but I'm not now. 
but I have a very high-tech uh, connection process here with the bungees, but it works. Uh, the Mach 1 is down here. I got really what I feel is too much weight, so I want to take some of this stuff off the top and see if I can't get it down lower. Um, what else? I did a, I used to have my, my, um, guide scope down here on a side by side and I just took all that off to try and reduce the weight and I ran a bar up at the top and there it is and then I hung the guide scope under it like under the wing and that gets it in really tight so tight that my dew shield right now you can see is up against it so I mean it's it's snug but it um, makes sure that when it's aiming out, I don't pick up uh, the wall of the, the slit here and cover up the guiding. So I don't have that problem. Um, just a cheesy little guide scope with a dew heater on it. Uh, dew heater's running right there. I switched that on from inside before I came out. That's my power strip here. Spread 12 volt power. It runs down and down through the mall, pops out down here, and I have one cable that runs into my very sophisticated tech. tech. You can see I'm not like a lot of you guys that do all that pretty stuff. I just heave it in a drawer and close it. And good enough. It's been in there for about three and a half years. <laughs> it's doing just fine. Uh, what else? A little pole master I rarely use. I am not on a pier, so it will move. If I push on it here, I can get it to lift a leg, and I do bump it once in a while. Usually trying to swap the scope, put another one on there. And, um, I don't know, still it seems polar aligned pretty good. I don't really have much problem, but, um, I try to get out here and polar align maybe once a year. And then because my crossbar is maybe not quite centered looks a little more to the right and the weight of the guide scope is higher than heavier than everything else over there my little switches so even though I tried to counterbalance it's heavier this way so I had to put this other bar on the bottom and you can see that that bar is pushed a little further that way to counteract this bar which is a little further this way and it works out well because I can undo this and slide it back and forth to give me a side to side balance and then uh, this also adds the weight to the front to keep the scope back so that my dew shield isn't hitting the the dome or get caught in the door in the shutter door so um, I try not to keep much out here I got a little bit of tools and stuff I've been playing with I don't keep any high-end equipment out here because of the humidity and just like why leave it out here. So this is it. Nice to be able to share it for a change other than seeing from the IP cameras which are usually in black and white mode. So I'm going to stop the recording and I'm going to see if I can tap in that. Got a little pin coming out of there. It looks like it's working its way out. And I uh, hope I got something worth sharing here.